everyone welcome back to my channel so this video was based on a specific request and I can totally relate to this you know page on first aid about this whole table of polycythemia by the end of this video I hope that you know everything is simplified so let's get started all right guys so let's start by defining what they mean by polycythemia they usually mean increased hematocrit and we know that blood is plasma and red blood cell mass so 55 percent plasma 45 percent red blood cell mass or cells so if this goes above 45 percent then we call this polycythemia now this can be a little confusing because sometimes there is no true increase in red blood cells it's just that the plasma has decreased as you can see here now because plasma has decreased it appears that the percentage of red blood cells is more this is false it's called relative polycythemia Red blood cells are the same, but they appear relatively more because plasma has decreased, either because of dehydration or, you know, anything that leads to loss of plasma like burns. In such a case, there is no increased red blood cell mass. It's just a decrease in plasma volume. On the other hand, and as you can see here, the red blood cell count will be normal in case of relative polycythemia. It will not be above 6.1 for males nor 5.4 for females. So this is how you can figure out that it's actually not a true increase. On the other hand, the red blood cell mass can actually increase truly. And this will be called absolute or true polycythemia. In such a case, the red blood cell count and the hematocrit will both be increased so that means we have two main categories of polycythemia all of them show increased hematocrit but one because of the true increase in red blood cell mass and we have two types here either secondary to erythropoietin production called absolute polycythemia maybe appropriate or inappropriate i'm going to explain this or maybe primary just like that without any signal from erythropoietin and there's another type which is no true increase in red blood cell mass it's just a decrease in plasma called relative polycythemia even though it shows increased hematocrit yet it is false and this is the table, actually part of the table. I'm going to show you the whole table of first aid, showing you that relative polycythemia is the only type that shows no increased red blood cell mass. It's just a decrease in plasma volume. And all the other types of polycythemia are true. There is a real increase in red blood cell mass, whether primary polycythemia vera or secondary, as we shall see. So now let's talk about the true polycythemia there is a real increase of red blood cell mass here we got those that increase in red blood cell maybe because of erythropoietin as a trigger in such a case it's called secondary or absolute polycythemia now if red blood cells increase just like that without a signal from erythropoietin this is a tumor called polycythemia vera also known as primary polycythemia it's just like that not secondary to anything primary polycythemia now if we talk about secondary polycythemia which is because of erythropoietin physiologically when you have low oxygenation because of maybe low red blood cell count or anything that leads to hypoxemia this decreased tissue oxygenation is a signal that we need more blood cells to carry more oxygen. So it only makes sense that we should increase red blood cell count. And this is a signal to increase erythropoietin production in the kidneys. So this hypoxia 
is sensed by the kidneys, which start secreting erythropoietin to increase red blood cells so that they can carry more oxygen. This physiological pathway is called is a physiological polycythemia. It's called appropriate polycythemia, as in this is the natural process, you know. It's secondary to erythropoietin in an appropriate situation when you have low oxygen. For example, lung disease. You can see here the feedback effect when you have normoxia, these are the number of cells in the kidney producing erythropoietin, but when you have hypoxia, you got more and more cells trying to produce erythropoietin in order to increase red blood cells and the oxygen carrying capacity. So in conditions of low oxygen, like I told you, lung disease or congenital heart disease or high altitudes, all of which are characterized by low oxygen, these are the conditions will appropriately stimulate erythropoietin production and red blood cells. And here, as you can see, this part of first aid showing you appropriate absolute. It's absolute because it's a true increased red blood cell mass secondary to erythropoietin. And it's appropriate because this is the natural signal and trigger for erythropoietin is low oxygen saturation. Low oxygen saturation leads to increased erythropoietin and it's the erythropoietin that increases red blood cell mass. On the other hand, and as you can see here, red blood cell count will actually be increased, true increase. On the other hand, there is a type of polycythemia that's also due to erythropoietin, which is secondary to erythropoietin with a true increased red blood cell mass, but this erythropoietin did not come from the kidney. It did not come because of hypoxemia. This erythropoietin is inappropriate, either taken exogenously, athlete abuse, or is produced by a malignancy. So it's not coming from an appropriate source and it's not because of hypoxemia. This erythropoietin came from somewhere else. Therefore, it's inappropriate, even though it's also secondary to erythropoietin. So here we have increased erythropoietin levels that led to an increased red blood cell mass without a problem in oxygen saturation. So it's inappropriate. It's not in the right context. Now, we finished the types of polycythemia that are due to erythropoietin called secondary polycythemia. Another type is when you have increased red blood cell mass without any signal from erythropoietin. It's not secondary to erythropoietin, it's because of a mutation, and this is actually a malignancy. It's a type of leukemia. It's increased red blood cells just like that, primary polycythemia, and because you have so much red blood cells that can carry so much oxygen, this would uh, lead to a negative feedback and actually reduce the number of cells in the kidney producing erythropoietin because we have so much, right? And um, that will lead to a decrease actually in erythropoietin. So the only type of polycythemia with a decrease in erythropoietin levels is primary polycythemia or polycythemia vera. You can see here that the primary disturbance is an increase in red blood cell mass because of a mutation and in the absence of any oxygenation problem and you can see because of the negative feedback we have decreased erythropoietin levels so let's sum up i'm going to show you guys a very simple scheme i created to stick this in your head so Polycythemia is increased hematocrit. When you look at the labs, you find hematocrit is over 45%. So you know this is polycythemia. Now, it could be because you have less plasma and there is actually no true increase in red blood cell mass. This is called relative polycythemia. It appears that the percentage of red blood cells is relatively more just because plasma has decreased. So this is false. On the other hand, true increased red blood cell mass is true polycythemia. We've got really more red blood cells. These more red blood cells could be 
due to erythropoietin, secondary to erythropoietin, or just like that, Sec not secondary to anything, it's just a mutation. In such case, it's polycythemia vera, which is a malignancy. Only in this condition would you have low erythropoietin levels as a negative feedback. Now, this true increase of red blood cell mass could be secondary to erythropoietin. Now, it's erythropoietin that is increasing these red blood cells. Now, this erythropoietin could come in the natural pathway because of low oxygenation, and such a case will be appropriate because it's in the context of hypoxemia in which we need to increase the oxygen carrying capacity of blood. Or it may be that this erythropoietin came from a different pathway, not because of hypoxemia, rather it's coming from a malignancy, or it's coming from an exogenous source, athlete abuse. In such a case, it's inappropriate. In both of these cases, in secondary polycythemia, erythropoietin is actually increased and because it's the trigger for increased red blood cells. But in polycythemia vera, erythropoietin is decreased. All of these conditions, guys, show increased hematocrit. But only the true polycythemia shows increased red blood cell count. The relative polycythemia does not show increased red blood cell count. I hope this makes sense, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. All the best.